Welcome one, welcome all. It's City Skylines time with Mr. Jokey. If you've never seen this, we're doing a Paradox Interactive game made by the Colossal Studio. It is a city building simulator. Basically, you're building a city. It is what SimCity should have been. And I've read a PC Gamer article, or I think it was a PC Gamer article, with an interview with the developer, with the, with the CEO of the developing studio, who said uh, that basically the failure of SimCity a couple of years ago, was it two years ago or a year ago, I don't even know because the game's just not so good so I don't play it. Um, the failure basically greenlit this this project, this City Skylines project, and, and we're all better for it because this is just an amazing game. So if you've never seen any of my other videos in this series, go check those out. There's about 19 of them right now. Um, if you have, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Um, so this is our city. If you remember, we got some solar power plants, harbor, major industrial zone, uh, some offices over yonder, and this is our this is our basically living area with some shops and and, and universities and school and all that good stuff. Um, all right, so let me unpause the game. Uh, I'm trying a new microphone setup this uh, this recording session, so uh, if it works better than the previous one, please let me know. I will um, I will be happy if you do. Uh, there shouldn't be any wind noises from my breathing because I'm not using my headphones microphone this time, but there might be my keyboard clicking because I do have a I do have a razor with a high rise, so. Uh, the clicking is actually quite loud, uh, and my girlfriend complains about it every time because it wakes her up. But yeah, if, uh, if you think this mic, this microphone setup is better than the last one, please let me know. I will keep it that way. If you don't think so, I will go back to the, the back, back to the old one and, and figure out a new way to, to record it. I'll uh, probably get a new microphone or something. Uh, I've been trying to get a new one, but you know, I asked a couple of sound engineers and they they said. Good microphones like three hundred dollars. I'm like, well, you gotta be kidding. You're out of your mind. Three hundred dollars. Anyway, um, let's get out of the camera mode and let's get started on doing stuff. We have plenty of money. I think today I'm gonna go and build a couple more neighborhoods. Uh, I think I should expand a little more toward the highway, maybe, or maybe this way. Yeah, I think I should maybe expand a little more toward the office area. So I'm gonna do that today. Uh, we have a we have a incineration plant in the way, which sucks a little bit because it's gonna be right in the middle of the residential area. But in my opinion, a little bit of pollution right here it's gonna be less of a problem than everybody here having garbage issues. So you know, there might be a couple people in this area shouting about industrial pollution, but they can go f themselves if they don't like it, right? So, let's build, let's build a, a residential area. We're basically going to follow the same pattern that we have here. It's right around here then. I'm just going to stretch it all the way to here. It's just going to be a giant residential area. So, like here. down here and then down to here on the other side it's gonna go down this way I'm sure if you've watched this series before you know all about how I build these basically the idea is that okay I'll turn off the snap no, that doesn't help. Shiza. Okay. Blow it a bit. Basically, the idea is that inside of the neighborhood, there we go. I use these small roads in sort of a grid pattern, like this. I think it's the most efficient way to, to build the neighborhoods. 
so far anyway. Uh, I'm sure there is a way, better way that I just thought of actually in the morning. That would probably work better, and that is to sort of use the way that Prague is built, kind of. Now, when I say Prague is built, don't don't immediately assume that it's exactly what the city looks like. But generally, since Prague is an old city, you know, several hundreds of years old, thousands even maybe, if you want to believe the stories of its creation. Um, The city is basically, it's got its historical center, and then it basically has these districts that you could imagine that the historical center is, uh, is the inside of a circle, and everything else is built on the outside of the circle, sort of as, like, like when a child draws a sun. So it comes out in these sector sectors and those sectors we could basically say that th those sectors have a sort of pattern to them that it's a industrial area with couple residential neighborhoods attached to it it is from the uh, from the era that has been the era of the rule of the communist party now don't imagine when I say the communist party don't imagine it as a Soviet Russia or anything it wasn't as bad as some people would make it make it sound I know my parents lived in it and they suffered for it, but it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, sorry. So I just lost a track of train of thought. That's okay. Um, been interrupted by a phone call. That wasn't as important as it sounded. Sorry about that. It's all good now. Let's continue building this neighborhood. I just hate how this. Stuff keeps curling. It's just annoying. Mm, here, you just build a big one like that. And one like that. And we'll add a couple roads. Now, as far as this game goes, this game goes. I saw there's a a mod. Somebody made a mod where they created a map of GTA 5 city, so so the San Andreas area. And I think that's pretty amazing. I mean, both that they could actually manage the sort of precision that they have. I haven't actually like installed the mod and looked at it, but I saw the pictures and, and other other people on the on YouTube checked it out, and it looks pretty fucking cool. It's, it's it's really good. Anyway, we have our incinerator there. I might actually move it to the other side of the road. like that just so the pollution go away moves a little bit down here and goes away from the residential zone because this is just gonna be full of like stores and everything and I think they're not gonna care as much as the people living up there uh, I'm gonna put one more incinerator over here and I'm gonna place a couple couple um, crematoriums because those were a big problem a couple episodes ago. Thought I had plenty of them. And then the whole town started bitching that I didn't. So you can see that this is just my map of crematoriums. I think this should be enough. There's one over there, so that should take care of it. Uh, hospital wise, if I put a big hospital here, it's 
definitely going to cover everybody. What if I put the hospital here? And it's missing that bit up top. Still missing a little bit. There we go. Okay, I put a big hospital over here. Fire department. And put down a big fire department too. Police station. Same thing. Uh, elementary schools. I'm gonna place them kind of on the inside of the neighborhood here and here oh the game is paused that's why nothing's happening all right that's fine what's that what did I put there that it's already bitching at me oh it's just it's a crematorium oh okay just calm down people I'll have I'll have water and everything up and running in no time. And I'll place a high school over here as well. And I'll place a metro stop. Right over here. Like that. And we're gonna have to Okay, let me pause the game again. Pull those these. And there we go. Yeah. No, sorry. We need to grab this and drag it all, all the way there, no? Yes. And then we grab this and drag it all the way there. I think. No. There we go. And that's how you update the metro line. Now, let's do some pipe work in this bit of town. So we can lead it through there. Under the main street, just in case of leakage, so it's easy to fix. And we just do this. No, sorry, then we do this. Through the middle. smidge and up a smidge. Same thing over here. Down the smidge. Up a smidge. Like that. Like that. Up there. We have to go to the side a little bit because it's just a funky shape there. Up a bit. Up a bit. Yeah, now we got water everywhere. At some point we're gonna have to build more more water pumps. I'm inclined to actually build the water pumps over here. Just drain the water from this lake. As opposed to making sure that I didn't pick up some sewage somewhere. Alright, let's zone up some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go with just normal paintbrush. <coughs> Excuse me. As opposed to zoning it with the with the fill tool. Here the fill tool would actually work nicely. So I'm just gonna use the fill tool here. But wherever it does sort of full full fill on everything, I'm just gonna use a detail brush there. And uh Make sure that it only is where I want it. Let's put some stores on the other side. Like so. So like right here I'm gonna have to use the detail tool. And over there as well. So I only want four these stores. And the same thing 
on this side. These are inside are going to be our residential, high density residential zones. So now I just zone a lot of this. So this is the good thing about this game. I actually didn't like it originally, but now I actually appreciate it much more. In old SimCity you could take a zone, color it over a zone and change the type of zone that it was, that, that it was if I remember right anyway. Here it doesn't allow you to do that, so once you zone your details, you can zone your giant areas just by painting over everything without having to worry about breaking something, which I think is good. These guys have power issues, just route the power there, come here. Eventually they're gonna get power from once they connect to the city, but just to prevent excessive amounts of bitching, I'm just gonna do it right now. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my office area soon, I'm gonna expand it toward the coast, right here is gonna be like a intersection that goes along the coast, and there's gonna be a bunch of more, bunch more offices and a whole sort of office center. Um, I don't know why this isn't upgraded, it should have been, so let me just do that real quick. There we go. Now I think I should just go and do these right away to prevent everybody from just going through that main living area. Just funnel out the traffic some other way rather than have them sorry in the power back on jeez. Rather than have them go all the way here and then down this road. I think it's smarter. Alright. Uh power to the people. How hard is it to work build a working grid? Not very, but just chill out. Really, the only two things that, are, that don't have power is the elementary school in this place. And I think the way to take care of that is to just turn them off. See, now nobody's going to be complaining. Oh, this is stupid. I have a hospital across the, across the street from a freaking incinerator. Okay. Wasn't one of my brightest ideas, but... You know what? Building a city is a hard work. And sometimes things like that happen. You can see the pollution in the trees. Unfortunately there is nothing that I can do about the pollution, like in certain certain other city building games you could build like parks and stuff to get rid of the pollution. Here the parks just turn or you know, trees just turn this funky color. So I don't know. We're gonna need to build a couple parks in these residential areas as well. So let me start by putting one over here. Hmm, wish I could have a bigger one. Kinda fits better in there. Yeah, let's build one of these. Let's build a Paradox Plaza right over there. park right next to the incineration plant just to kind of try and curb the pollution a little bit. Uh, that of course has some power issues right there. We'll just go and turn this park off for now. Just like we turned this park off. Yep. Alright. Alright. I think people are gonna start moving. Ooh, what's happened here? Nothing. Okay, we bulldoze these. Everything's good. I like how incinerator plants don't actually need to have power routed to them because they produce electricity by incinerating stuff. Good thing too. Alright, this is where I'm gonna end this episode. 
thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the phone call in the middle of the episode. I do apologize. This was It's City Skylines time with Mr. Jokey. If you liked the video, please click that little thumbs up button over, over somewhere on your screen to, uh, to let me know that you did. And if you want to be apprised of more videos coming out and other series that are going to come out in the future, please be so kind as to subscribe to my videos and I will give you a shout out during the next recording session. So thank you so much for watching, goodbye and take care.